It was a case that sparked yes, outrage across the nation and heartbreak here in Cleveland. Yes, 12 year old Samir Rice playing with a gun outside a rec center. The gun turned out to be fake and was shot to death by a rookie this police purpose officer purpose who says that he thought purpose it was real. Now the Cuyahoga County purpose Prosecutor purpose has released three brand new storm. reports on the shooting just yeah. within the past few hours. Storm. One is from the Highway Patrol. Okay, we got Hurricane Timothy Lawman, Frank Gunbach, and Tamir Rice. This ain't even near right. Can somebody please tell me when the CPD respond to a gun call, which is one car, two officers, two feet in two seconds for a rolling stop. Drop the gun, oh, we got a gun and a double shot, and we got a warm front coming from Youngstown and the coat coming from Springfield. Semi-automatic time, bow, let the thunder sound, flame, lightning, gun, smoke, cloud, out in plain sight. Politicians waiting and debating, and the shit just look like a gang. Initiation, I ain't hating, I just can't take all the bullshit. Cover ups, lies, and the double ups, and on the back flips. Just a murk a black kid in a place out in West Park on the west side of the city in the state in the Midwest and get away. The Cleveland police officer who shot and killed 12 year old Tamir Rice will not face charges. Timothy Lehman, who was white, killed Rice, an African-American, last year after he brandished a toy gun outside a Cleveland rec center. The New York Times' Mitch Smith notes that the 911 caller who reported seeing Rice's toy cautioned that Tamir was probably a juvenile and that the weapon was probably fake. Okay, we got Hurricane Prosecutor. You ain't prosecuting, you just prosecuting. Got you shooting blue. Two lies when your mouth is moving. How you doing, Tim? McGinty, are you the pimp or the hoe? Because I know somebody got to be both because we get fucked out of civil rights and we paying two lives of the youth pay a fine when we going through i'm just waiting for the hell storms and the typhoons to tell me how these two cops make the right move because i ain't got a clue how in the red white and blue star spangled flying fuck is it just to roll up and just bust on the kid while he playing with a toy in the park full of kids i mean you gotta be one petty fog and boot licking brown nose and Parasite, fake, phony, kind artist for even trying to turn a blind eye on the drive-by to a black kid by the law type like it's all right, coward. Toy gun, not a toy gun. And by the way, the cops absolutely positively lied about it because they didn't know there was tape. Mm -hmm. They said there was other people around and he was pointing the gun at other kids in the, in the area. There were no other kids in the area, as you saw on the tape, and they didn't check. They shot him immediately. The prosecutor, who announced there would be no charges, said that while this was a perfect storm of human error, the evidence did not constitute criminal action by police, and that the benefit of doubt must be given to a police officer who must make a split-second decision. Another prosecutor said, we don't second-guess police officers.